Hi there, I'm Tim Herman from the MSOE Center for Biomolecular Modeling. I'm here to introduce this year's Science Olympiad Protein Modeling Event. This year's event is going to focus on CRISPR base editing. That is a new application of CRISPR and ways in which that protein, or the CRISPR Cas9 protein, has been engineered to be useful in a process known as base editing. I'm not going to tell you too much about what base editing is because um, there will be lots of links on our websites that will direct you to some videos and some papers that will uh, allow you to discover that for yourself. So this little video is just to introduce the event. There's been a change that's been made between this year and last year, so I want to I want to introduce the event even for those of you who may have participated last year. So there are three parts to the event. Part one is what we call the pre-build. That's the part in which you will construct the physical model of an alpha carbon backbone representation of a protein. This year's protein is going to be something called cytidine deaminase. And what's that got to do with base editing? Um, well, that's what you're going to have to figure out. This is the Cas9 protein, which we focused on last year. And the focus was on how this protein, Cas9, functioned as in an in a adaptive immunity system in bacteria. This year, we're focusing on how this protein has been further engineered to be useful as a base editing tool, okay, a, a new technology. Um, so, in part one, you're going to make a model of a cytidine deaminase that somehow gets added to this protein and makes it useful in base editing. And how are you going to do that? Well, you're going to have to, first of all, know what your folding target is. You're going to have to know what the shape of the cytidine deaminase protein is so that you can fashion a tuber into that same shape. You'll do that by using a program called JMOL. JMOL is a molecular visualization program, and that program is able to open a PDB file. What is a PDB file? That's a protein data bank file. And JMOL will open a PDB file, which is nothing more than a bunch of numbers. It's a text file that has XYZ coordinates for every atom that makes up this structure. So an XYZ coordinate, this, this atom right up here, can be defined by, by a, a, a coordinate that is so many inches. You, you pick a starting point like your nose. That point right there is 2 inches to the, in the X direction, maybe 14 inches in the Y direction, and 3 inches in the Z direction. So an XYZ will position every atom in this structure. JML will open all of those coordinates in a computer environment. And then you'll learn to use JMOL to connect all of those alpha carbons to create what's known as an alpha carbon backbone model of the protein. That becomes your folding target. You'll take a piece of tuber or some other comparable material and you'll make right-handed alpha helices. Make sure you don't make left-handed alpha helices. You'll make beta sheets like this, parallel, anti-parallel beta sheets. You'll fold the overall three-dimensional structure of cytidine deaminase and that will be your pre-build. So, <clears throat> in part one, you'll, you'll make a cytidine deaminase model. You'll also learn how to use JMOL because in part two of the event this year, instead of having an on-site build where you model another protein at the tournament, instead there's something that we're going we're gonna to replace the on-site build with a JMOL exploration. So in part two, we'll ask you some questions about, about how you use JMOL. We'll give you a brand new PDB file of a new protein that you've never seen before. And your job will be to open that PDB file and explore that new protein and answer some questions that we'll ask you about that new structure. So that's new this year. Finally, part three uh, is the same as it has been in the past. That will be a short written exam. There'll be something like seven or eight questions uh, some of them will have to do with protein structure and function and the principles of chemistry that drive this sequence of amino acids into this particular shape. Um, and then some of the questions will be about CRISPR, both how 
the CRISPR system functions as an adaptive immune system in bacteria. Maybe even a little bit about the history of how we discovered CRISPR. So lots of interesting material that's going to be in these links that we'll put on the website. But, but most importantly, some of the questions will be about how this protein has been engineered with the addition of cytidine deaminase to make it useful in this base editing application. So that's the event this year. Just as CRISPR is one of the hottest new technologies in the molecular biosciences, uh, it's only been around for maybe 10 years. So in, in that very, very interesting hot field of structural biology, base editing is even newer. And it's only <clears throat> become a thing in the last five years or so. You'll be reading several papers, or a classic paper from the lab of David Liu at Harvard. Uh, David Liu is the person who is mostly credited with uh, coming up with this idea of adapting Cas9 to be a base editor. So it's going to be a very interesting topic. Uh, we look forward uh, to seeing all of your models. Good luck with the event.